Happiness through curiosity on the Ranveer Show. Welcome to TRS Clips. One very fascinating thing you told me about Africa out there on the balcony was the commonality that some African cultures, if not all, have with Indian culture in the form of worshipping Shiva. Yes. And a very interesting angle on it where Shiva is supposed to be the divine masculine kind of figure in some parts of Sanatandham. And... Uh, He's supposed to be Adda Nareshwar, which is half man, half woman, where Shiva and Parvati combine and create a powerful form. But in Africa, Shiva is in the form of a woman. What is happening here? <laughs> what is this? Uh, I, I, I love, I, I would love rather if you could look at Mami Vata. Okay. It's called Mami Vata. That's the name? Yes. Mami Vata is a, a spirit, a water spirit. And if I would show you her picture, her picture... Uh, and you would look at it, you would even think it's, I mean, it's not a her, I mean, I mean what makes, it's Shiva for mm. us. Why do you say that? Just describe what Yes, it so is. Mummy Water basically, if you would uh, see, has a python or a, a snake around her neck, just like how Shiva has, uh, wears, uh, in various different uh, uh, depictions, uh, she wears uh, tiger skin, which is part, uh, has hair which is like twirled, and not really combed or you know kept well he's he or she is like uh, she in this case uh, mummy water is just her mm. you know there's nothing made up or there's nothing like you know kept about her just like shiva is like he is him you know mm. if i were to show you her picture you would think it is shiva so and uh, there are so many things and uh, she is the water element as i said uh, of course, we have the connection of water coming from uh, his mm. head as well. So, there are so many connections. I wish I could talk about it at length again. Yeah, sure, there are so sure. I believe even some of the seals they found in Harappa and Mohenjo-daro had some depictions of yes, yes. Shiva. Uh, we have a, we cannot say conclusively it is Shiva, but we have the a moon. Again, a very, uh, uh, what I would like us to see is the ancients never talked about the moon as a masculine figure. Mm. It was always Venus. I mean, it's, it's a feminine, female figure, mm. you know. So how, or the question to be asked is, how does Shiva have a moon on his head? I mean, is it a him or a her? Mm. Or is it like genderless. the form? Yeah, genderless. Is it a, a form, a force? And then we have this narrative of Ardhan Areshwar, which yes. talks about it being yes. uh, genderless. Do the African culture speak about meditation? Uh, they don't. They they have other ways of uh, speaking about like uh, they talk about unison. Now uh, they also have this thing about wherein uh, you can take that is uh, a priest or a being can take up other forms. Okay, shape shape shifting. Yes, wherein like mind could be connected. I could talk to you without talking. Mm. I could move mountains just like uh, now. This is also a theory which comes up. In Egypt, wherein like you could move mountains in the way of, you know, with your thoughts. That's how the pyramids got made? <laughs> it's a question. Mm. It's a question. Because, because no one knows how the pyramids yes, got made. We have the ramp theory. I mean, we have the scientific ramp theory wherein like you build a ramp and do it. But you cannot, I mean, no one, uh, you could say what you want to say, but not going into pseudoscience again, but still there's a possibility, mm. you know. So... Was the human mind more capable than what it is today? Have we been numbed mm. by various different things? Mm. By toothpaste and plastic. <laughs> it's possible. <laughs> or, or it could be anything. You no, know? That's, what, that's what they say about toothpaste. It's got fluoride, <laughs> which, which crusts all over your pineal gland. It's a conspiracy theory. You know, we have the same thing about the media today. Like yeah, if a child, sure. if a child like watches too much of, you know, television. Or if a teenager uses too much short form content. <laughs> <laughs> or, or video games, you know, if the mind is constantly, you know, there's a, this numbing aspect. Mm. So has it, you know, is our, or are our mi minds numb mm. to many things which we knew before and we don't know now? Mm. Because even experiences today, as we go out, and experience nature, you you feel even the ordinary water which you could even have here in a tap, uh, you know, and when you experience the water which is falling from a mountain, you know, gushing through your hand, you know, the impact and the force is very different. Mm. Have you lost touch with such elements is very important. Mm. Thanks for watching. Make sure you check out the entire episode and also check out this playlist that we've curated just for you.